my happy hat. <laughs> I hope you're happy. And I hope you're happy to send these videos out against the anti-World War III war effort. Only one thing can cut time short, prophecy. So I'm giving the world ammunition here at this channel against the Russians and Putin to show them their future through their very own prophets. So, uh, and Jesus had said that uh, unless these days were cut short, no flesh could survive. And uh, the Lady of Fatima predicted that if Russia did not convert to love, uh, they would cause the world's annihilation. And that is the word the, the Catholic Church has validated. So I hope that someone will listen to me. And if you won't share these messages, give me likes or comments. If you're just going to be an unloving frigger out there, go stand in the line of uh, the reveal lawless one. Uh, because these are the days of the manifestation of all prophecy of the Bible. And people don't want to hear it. I've been preaching these truths for a year and a half. But if you don't embrace this truth uh, to stop the king of the north from invading the king of the south, it's already happened. The, the war has started, unfortunately. Uh, we're in the beginning phases of it. But uh, people have loved to hear the word of prophecy. Re uh, Revelation is found clearly written in uh, Daniel 11.6 that <clears throat> this would be a latter-day prophecy that the king of the north would invade the king of the south. And you are watching it on uh, CNN. <clears throat> so as the Catholic Church then uh, validated uh, a man by the name of, what's his name? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah. Joseph uh, Terelia, Joseph, uh, as they uh, validated him, um, it came to pass that a uh, Ukrainian by the name of Joseph Terelia uh, said, on, said, Our Lady also appeared unto him, just like Fatima, and uh, in the days, and said that in the days of Daniel 11, king of the north invading the south, that there would be many fields of flames inscribed with the names of many nations. It was a total world war to make the other two look pretty damn sick. Um, and if you won't share these videos, frig right off. You're unloving and you deserve to die. Um, he said that there would never be any time for anyone to dig any graves. Uh, and Mary told him, this is there is no natural water that could ever douse out such flames since the heavens and the earth would only be on fire by love's message by love's message of the kingdom age new covenant for all mankind god is saying i will be your god you will be my people uh to putin and to the russians and i will forgive all your iniquity and i will never remember it again lay down your arms it is time to beat the sword uh, of war into the sickle of peace uh, because the false Jesus that um, Putin worship will not forgive him. I, the true Jesus that I serve will not forgive him. Uh, he is committing unforgivable sin of, uh, sin of blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, letting his love light go out, not caring that multitudes and millions of people would needlessly die by his insanity. And so um, it, it is written that uh, she stressed that anyone in those latter days who wants to receive uh, the grace of God, they should be praying constantly and take it upon themselves to do uh, voluntary pen penance of loving kindness and forgiveness for all people uh, because all people need to become merciful so they can receive mercy. And for this cause, the time of Daniel 11 and 12 have come, uh, in which that lion of uh, the di lion, Daniel of the lion's den, that prophet there of foretold. For the devil has clearly been prophesied to even be removed, Daniel 12, 1, for a thousand years in the latter days. It says so, uh, Daniel 11, 6. 
you got to realize that Daniel 11 and uh, Daniel 12 is the same time period. It's the latter days. Um, and all of this would happen because God loves us so much. Uh, and she warned, the Our Lady warned Joseph that the Antichrist spirit of total apostasy would have total control over all human activity while stressing that evil spirits of embraced ignorance would be leading all apostate loveless people into lawlessness. And she pointed to the fact that after the lawless one of Revelation 13 has been exposed and revealed as the book of Thessalonians predicted, uh, that that blasphemer would uh, begin working uh, throughout the airwaves uh, with YouTube uh, to cause the minds of mankind to become conscious and unconscious uh, ways of unlovingness that uh, as they exalt themselves instead of love who lives in, in them if they haven't already turned out their light of love. And uh, as a result, all deceived people ignoring the Lord's uh, messenger uh, unto Israel that they have inherited all mankind, Isaiah 54, 3, foretold and manifested that it, it, they will would come if they ignore this channel they will come to the bankrupted places where multitudes would easily lovelessly begin uh, committing much uh, crimes in uh, in the distances and everyone uh, it will distance all of everyone much farther from our truest loves truest truth uh, so Terelia uh, is hopeful indeed for in the former Soviet uh, Republic, people are flocking to churches, uh, not now, this was written a few years ago, uh, because of COVID, uh, the trial of all flesh, churches are almost out of business. But uh, this must be nurtured, uh, the, the faith of love, in order to prevent a massive nuclear holocaust. Of course, one must discern Terelia's words. And because the warnings came forth in a, in a time that all the world needs to, to hear. Uh, so prior uh, to uh, uh, Joseph at Fatima in 1917, uh, she did say that without conversion uh, lo to love, which is Christ, Russia would cause the annihilation of nations. That's scary as hell. And the church has wrongly taken that to only mean that it would be a spiritually uh, atheistic or materialistic, but it's the end of life on planet Earth as it has been known. By the time this war ends up in Armageddon, all that good stuff, uh, anyone left will only be able to survive in underground bunkers, and that eliminates all the poor, so all the poor can kiss their own asses goodbye. And the Lord God Almighty is now warning that uh, all of the misunderstandings of prophecy have, have now revealed uh, that these are days exactly as Noah's, with our imminent total oblivion just ahead. Uh, and uh, this is exactly as it is written in Zephaniah 1, Isaiah 24, Deuteronomy 18.18, Malachi 4.6. And Jesus, Yeshua himself, said the same thing, that unless these days were cut short, no flesh could survive, Matthew 24, 22. There is no way to cut time short except for uh, prophecy that tells you the future before it happens. So welcome to the channel of the uh, uh, the feast of love. Uh, this is the channel of the latter-day mountain of Isaiah 25. And upon this latter-day mountain shall all guilt and shame be removed of all people of the world if they are ready for a new feast, some new good food, because the old feast has gone rotten and the Lord God has a shit pie waiting for the eye of Putin and all Russians who will keep pushing the envelope of uh, uh, pledging allegiance to a flag of, of, of a nation that he wants to turn uh, uh, Russia into a, a waking Kodiak rabid beast instead of the teddy bear that she needs to be. And so the Lord is now roaring much louder than ever before that in these days of his latter-day Daniel, of Daniel 12, 13, arising to embrace his destiny as it is written, uh, that uh, if, if, if they would uh, just accept the truth uh, foretold in Acts 3.21, that we, we could have hope 
come out of all the mess that's all around us. So the spirit of blessedness from our Lord of hope now comes forth so we can all embrace the living word of our majesty of majesties, our carpenter of carpenters, who arises in the splendor of the magnificence of his very own beneficence. Uh, so let the obedience of love's greatest passion aflame, let, the, let them flame on like Johnny Torts out of the Fantastic Four, so they can finally embrace truth with them uh, uh, before Christ returns in the overflowing glory of a planet's love revived uh, and resurrected by his flowing word of life. So those who think that we are living in a special period of peace right now, that's all been blown to shit by Putin's moves uh, that have is the manifestation of Daniel 11 coming to pass. I live in Canada. There are only two kings of the north possible. A king of the north in Canada or a king of the north in Russia. But only Russia is the one that's already invading, proving that it is the time of Daniel 11 and 12. So it's time that we need to understand that uh, former things have been mistaken and uh, the message of love has not been embraced at all. People are spitting at my channel, but the light that I'm bringing out is the only light that can save the earth and cut time short through prophecy. So let the, let it be understood that the prophet Isaiah wrote in Isaiah 4 that uh, there'll be so many men killed in this last heated battle coming ahead that seven men would grab one man uh, and the guys are saying, yeah! <laughs> But there'll be uh, so few men left alive. Um, and he wrote that most people in the world will eventually come to see the glory of the Lord God's love in action through their very own hearts, becoming fervent instead of being lukewarm. So uh, Tara Leah, uh, Leah, he now lives in Toronto uh, outskirts, and his visions are all now coming all to pass. It's all manifest, manifesting. And for that reason, he has assured all people of truth that the coming war would would have been delayed if only Ukraine had have already have joined NATO because that move would have brought Western arms to a much better striking distance of, of Russia. Uh, and so Joseph strongly emphasized, and he said this, there is going to be a big fight between East and West. Russia, China, and Arabic countries like Syria will fight uh, together, and then they will fight each other. Putin has now a friend in Cuba and a place for Russian submarines. And the United States has let uh, Russia consolidate its power. There will be much death, mountains of corpses, and uh, two more world wars, as Daniel 11 accurately uh, foretold. And uh, another truth from the seer Baba Vanga is that Vladimir, the new Vlad wannabe, uh, he does have a chance to lead the world for love. If only he will listen to the Lord's truest truths uh, as he cuts time short. Uh, and this is a possibility because all prophecy uh, that has an if in it is all conditional. Um, proof of that is... Uh, God told uh, the prophet uh, uh, Jonah, go tell them, none of it, you will be destroyed in 40 days. And they were not. They relented. Uh, God relented, changed his mind, because the people let their hearts uh, turn to love. Uh, and uh, so he, he said that if, uh, she said, if people of the world will start uh, getting out love's truest propaganda out to the love's, uh, to the Russian people, Putin could come to see himself as the monster king of the north, Daniel 11 described him to be who is invading the king of the north. And that could turn thing, his heart around. It really could. And it could turn the heart, hearts of all the Russians around to prevent the worst that, from happening. For all prophecy of love is truthfully open-ended and is always conditional for the amount of genuine love that's flowing through reveling people's hearts, spirits, and souls. Therefore, the Lord long ago said that in those latter days, if Daniel uh, 11, 6, uh, 
if my people of uh, when my people of Israel are dwelling safely, shall they not know that all hell is ready to break loose as a broken dam, as a great red flood of the greatest woe imaginable? For the king of the north has come out of his northern place with multitudes, and all of them are riding upon the most amazing mechanical horse powers. And those of Rosh, uh, Ezekiel 8, uh, 28 said, uh, and he's bringing a great mighty company and an army willing to march into heaven for their hellish cause of their king of the north's vainest power lust. And at Armageddon they shall end up coming against my people of Israel as a cloud covers the land. And it will be in the latter days of Daniel of the lion's den when the Lord will say, And I will turn back and I will put hooks in their jaws and I will bring them forth again with all of their armament, missiles, nukes, tanks, and equipment of death. And the whole army shall be clothed with sorts of armors and be a great company with bucklers and seals uh, and all of them handling weapons much more deadly than swords. For in my jealousy of love shall my Elijah spit out the fire of my wrath and my curses as Deuteronomy 18, 18 foretold. And in that day there shall be a great shaking in the land of Israel, so that the fishes of the sea and the fowls of the heaven and the beasts of the fields and all creeping things that creep upon the earth and all men upon the face of the earth will be destroyed, exactly as Zephaniah 1, 1 says, And I will shake my presence uh, before all is swept away, as Zephaniah proclaimed. And the mountains shall be thrown down, and the steep places shall fall as earth crumbles into pieces, that Isaiah 24 foretold. And every wall of man's foolishness uh, shall fall to the ground uh, before it's too late. And that is what will happen. So it's time that he will call for a sword of love and hope and peace. So every man's sword needs not to fight against their brother. And he's pleading now with all people, with blood and with rain and pestilence, uh, and uh, uh, not curses uh, that are nice. Uh, it could be blessings, people, uh, if only we will uh, not want to receive the shit pie that he's got to throw at all unloving people of Malachi 2.3. And so the Lord's arm is strong, and he has a nice supply of overflowing rain, great hailstones, fire, and brimstone. And the Lord says, And I will magnify my presence and sanctify myself as the great beneficent uh, of unending love. And I, I will be known in the eyes of many nations, and they shall know that I am the Lord God Almighty, the roaring lion of Zion. And he says, Stop it! Stop ignoring this channel or you're a fucker and you're going to die.